question. What is the most important piece of equipment in your whole dive kit? Or maybe you haven't got one yet and you want to start. What do you think be the first thing that you should buy? Answer that question coming up next. Hey everybody, my name is Chris. This is Just Keep Scuba Diving, Scuba Diving on a Budget, where I try to help you save money and enjoy a sport of scuba diving at the same time. I know it's a concept. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button below, and let's get started, okay? The number one piece of equipment you have in your dive kit, absolutely, positively, without a doubt, Without this right here, you can't see. If you're not comfortable while you're seeing, this gets in your way. It doesn't sit right, it doesn't fill in your mask, it's too tight here, it doesn't, it leaks all the time, it fogs all the time. All the things that if you don't get a mask that you like, that's what happens. Number one, I am not being sponsored by anybody to say what I'm about to say. I am not picking one mask over another. The best mask in the world the absolute number one positively best mask in the world. You can quote me on this. And I, 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 every company will get mad at me. Ready? Then we'll tell you what the best mask in the world is. Let's do the tried and true first way of fitting a mask. You start off like this, inhale slightly, Everybody does it, right? That's how everybody does the dive shop. That's what they tell you to do. That's what we do in class. That's what we do in courses. But does that mean it's the mask for you? Does that mean it fits properly? How you tell the proper fit, yes, that is the way you seal. It seals on your face. But that does not mean that's the way it fits on your face. What you want to do, like so, we know it seals, right? Is this little piece right here too big for your nose? Does it fit perfectly here? When you look at the mask, make sure you look in the mirror. Are you seeing a perfect seal around your eyes? Is it too close? Is it too far out? What about up top? Okay, I started with these. There's a reason we'll go into later. Started with these. I bought on sale this one. Look what the difference is on the eyes. See how high up it rides? Look at the nose. See, my nose is right here. Notice the other one, it was really far out. But look how high up this bass ride. Yeah, technically, I'm supposed to be looking down. I can glance up. And that's the way it is. Lift that the way I've sounded too. Okay. Now here's another the other thing of a non-fitting, non-properly fitting mask. Ready? Then I already got to start getting a ring, didn't I? It means it's too tight. Your mask should not be so tight that when you're out of the water, it feels like a suction cup on your face. It doesn't work that way. What I wound up buying. Now watch how easily this mask fits on. Ready? Because it was an improper fitting mask. Bring it up. On. Over. Duh. All right. See? Got plenty of distance here. Got plenty. Notice how I don't have it way up here on my face. I got enough to where I can look down on the, on the, uh, and when I, Whenever I do need progressive lenses or magnify glasses, I've got an area now to do gauge readers. Thank you for getting the age of 50. But that's what you got to think about too. Also look, look how much my nose pocket is filled up, okay? I don't have a lot. Now, I can wear this mask because I wear contacts now. 
So that's all the properly fitting ways, to, uh, properly ways to fit your mask. Look, you want to look around the edges to make sure there's no gap right there. You want to also make sure it's not too close to your eye, not too far back. You want to make sure it's right here, not way up here. When you go diving and it's way up here, it's going to be, there's going to be so much air in there. You'll be like, oh, it's so uncomfortable. Trust me. But that also means it fogs up, easier to fog up. You also want the nose pocket to be pretty close to your nose. I got one that I can collapse almost a whole thing over on it and it would fit perfect if it had a smaller nose pocket. That was my fault. I bought it on sale. It was the last one in the store. It fit this way, but it didn't fit. And I didn't know the difference until after I jumped in the water. Now, look at the skirts. See them? They're clear. Mine are clear. Tammy's skirts are not. Well, the skirts are very interesting for, I heard it's told like this. Do you watch TV with the lights off? Or do you, are you okay with the lights on? When the lights are on, are you distracted by everything that's around? Well, in that case, you may want a black skirt. Lights off. Makes you focus, helps you focus on what's going on. But that's it on scone, that's it on masks. Um, those are my thoughts. Now, if you also notice, I had a clear one, I had solid ones. The best mask in the world. The absolute number one, positively best mask in the world. You can quote me on this. And I, 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 every company will get mad at me. Ready? I'm gonna tell you what the best mask in the world is. Here it is, big reveal. The one you like. They're all great masks. Aqualung, Scuba Pro, Scuba Max, Cressy. They're all great masks. Clear lenses, green glass, glass, plus, they're all great masks. They're all going to that skirt. They're all going to the bands. They're all doing the slides. The best mask in the world, the one you like. Just keep scuba diving. Scuba diving on a budget. Chris, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. See you on the boat.